Hey, what's up? My name is J.M. Chaley and welcome to my channel. This month we're doing 31 tips in 31 days. And these are going to be author tips because I'm trying to keep them as generic as possible. But I'm going to kind of contradict myself here and do tip number two as a writing tip. But you know, I think this is going to be generic enough so that it applies to all writers. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. I think this is going to be applicable to all writers. So I think it's safe to include in this 31 tips uh, collection. <laughs> so here's the tip. Don't sweat your first draft. Look, I know that there's a huge portion of the writing community, a good number of your fellow authors telling you all first drafts sh suck, right? All first drafts are crap. It, there, there are highly, highly successful New York Times best-selling authors saying this, your first draft is garbage. And I'm going to disagree with them. <laughs> and believe me, there's a lot of New York Times best-selling authors that, that disagree with them too. Your first draft's job is simply to exist. Okay? Look, if you wrote 80,000 words, 90,000 words, however many thousands of words in your first draft, and it was truly a big steaming pile when it was done, you'd throw the whole thing out. You'd hit delete on that file and start from scratch, right? But that's not what we typically do with first drafts. I mean, it, I guess it happens. It can happen. But that's not typically what happens, right? We, we have this first draft. Maybe there's big parts that we're not happy with. Maybe we look back and cringe and go, oh, did I write that? <laughs> but, and maybe, yeah, we rip things out. But we don't throw the whole thing out, do we? I don't think so. We refine it, we make it better. You know, Neil Gaiman um, talked about the difference between a first draft and, you know, subsequent drafts, or, or specifically the final draft. And I think he worded it very well, which is, he basically said that you know, after the first draft comes along, you go through and make it look like you knew what you were doing all along. And you, you know, what he's talking about is, is, is tightening up those pieces and, and making those connections and those aha moments and, and, you know, seeding those kind of third act reveals and all this kind of stuff that can be peppered in later if you haven't done so already, right? Strengthening things up. If the first draft was truly crap, then you'd throw the whole thing away and start from scratch, right? Well, then that first draft is going to be crap, so you throw that out. Now you're in an infinite loop, and you never finish a book. Obviously, your first draft is a foundation for all the drafts that come after it. And those drafts, every subsequent draft, just makes it stronger and refines it and just builds the story that much better. Your first draft, all it needs to do is exist. That's its job. From there, you can begin editing and making it into the story that it needs to be. You can't edit a blank page. Your first draft is you telling yourself the story, putting it all down on paper. It's a brain dump, maybe, at, at worst. But at best, it's a very clear story that just needs a little bit of tweaking. It's not crap. It's not garbage. Don't... Don't assume, imagine oh, how frustrating it would be to be writing your first draft day after day, putting in however many word counts that you're doing when you sit down to write and think, oh, this is all for nothing because this is going to be garbage at the end. No, <laughs> it's, it's not. Your first draft is going to be great because it exists and that's awesome. Many people never get to that stage. How many people do you know that have a story in their head and think, oh, I've always wanted to write a book or I've always wanted to do blah, blah, blah. And they never get that first draft. You're doing it. By virtue of that alone, you're accomplishing something that most people don't. And now you have that first draft and now you can edit it and refine it and make it better. Your first draft's job is simply to exist. It's the foundation for subsequent drafts to come, to come along. It's you telling yourself the story. It's not crap. It's the beginning of your awesome book. So that's tip number two. 
don't stress the first draft. I'm gonna link, I did a longer video of this. Um, I'm gonna link it up here if you wanna watch that. I go into a little bit more detail on why you shouldn't stress about the first draft. But that's what it really boils down to. The job of the first draft is to exist. It's the foundation of the subsequent drafts to come. It's you telling yourself the story before you refine it into the story that it should be. All right, so that about wraps it up. If you like this video, please smoosh that like button. And as always, please subscribe. I'm posting every single day in the month of July, 2024. So I'll see you tomorrow.